What's up? It's your boy Two Foes back again with another video. And I'm giving you my experience, my full review, my thoughts on the iPhone SE running on Total Wireless. I got this device, I invested in it, 135 bucks flat out. Uh, with tax, it was like, man, 140. And I got like the $25 talking tax plan um, with Total Wireless. And unfortunately, like I said in my previous videos, even my one of my latest live streams, you guys go check out those other videos. I'll leave a link in the description. But man, I don't know if it's Verizon and I don't know if it's track phone and I don't know if it's Total Wireless. I don't know who's responsible for uh, no no full bars, but I've been averaging. And I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna just be honest. Between my nine to fives, between going places with the iPhone, I've been averaging only two to three bars. Only two, I don't know if it's because I don't have LTE or because I only got their talking text, but that's my average. Sometimes I only send one bar. I don't know if that has to do with anything between Verizon's contract with Total Wireless and Trackbone, whoever whoever's involved with it, all right? Whoever's involved with it, okay? But my deal is, it's a little iffy, all right? It's a little iffy. Um, I, I had a little static. I had, I'm not sure why. I had a little static doing calls, even, even call it 1-800 numbers, even just randomly calling numbers and just to say how the call quality was. Call quality wasn't on point. Um, I was still able to iMessage or whatever like that. I have a few iMessages and stuff, but um, yeah, the call qualities wasn't, it wasn't the best, all right? It wasn't the best experience. I had drop calls. Um, text messages sometimes didn't go through. And I, like I said, once again, I don't know if it was between Verizon, Total Wireless, or a track phone. But my boy said, tell us said, yeah, that's probably because you you on the track phone. So it is what it is. The iPhone SE is, it's a mess on this carrier. Now, um, they did have an option for me to add three gigs of LTE data for $10 for one month. Um, I'm still thinking about doing that, but like I said, this is just my experience after 14 days of use. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I wouldn't recommend. Okay, I'll put it like this. If you can get straight talk, I, I'm, see, I don't even know if straight talk will work. It's better than track phone. Maybe, maybe I should have did the the T-Mobile version, the AT&T version. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but maybe I should have just added the data, period. I know. I can admit I know. But at the same time, um, FaceTiming was, uh, eh, it was horrible, man. I can't lie. It was horrible. Uh, it, it, and it could be because of this phone, but it was just, it's just a bad experience. But now, one thing I can tell you, and I did this on my Android devices. You can, um, since I don't have data, I just like when I get to Wi-Fi, I just zinc up, update all my apps, uh, links, whatever I share, where it was Evernote, Pocket, Wonderlist, the uh, Wonderlist, um, Kindle, whether it was the Nook application, or even the games. You can like I can still you know do a do a minimum usage of things even offline. Like like I said, I got YouTube music, so all my music was playing without having the need for data and this is for people that want to save money this is for people that don't want the the highest end model iphone and this is for people that want basic usage they just want a little something you know a little something to make them feel like oh i'm part of the team now or well yeah i do have a smartphone but it's not as advanced as yours it doesn't do all that but luckily Apple included Apple Pay, um, Apple Home, or whatever they call it, um, stuff like that. So you can still get some usage, Apple Health. You can still get some usage out of the iPhone SE. It's just it's not power hungry. I mean, it's not it's not you know having a, a lot of storage, a lot of RAM. This one only comes with 32 gigs. Um, I think one gig of RAM or two gigs of RAM, something in that in that in that range. But as long as you have Wi-Fi in your area, you should be good, like I said, with your applications. And of course, it still has the infamous headphone jack. So 
you know, that was a good, I uh, had it out when I was doing, um, doing my walks and runs uh, with, with, with my friend. We was, you know, out exercising, you know, I was showing off the iPhone like, yeah, you know, I got the iPhone too now, you know, so, so what? I mean, you know, it, it, and it makes perfect sense for me as my stage name, Two Phones, to have, you know, iOS and Android on hand, you know, so, you know, if people want to know what's the difference, that's the difference right here plain and simple oh uh, <laughs> but yeah um so i mean and to to be honest i haven't had any i wouldn't say i had app crashes but some apps like it took a minute to load up or sometimes i did get blank screens i am fully updated you all want to know i'm on um uh, let me see okay uh it just says something about yeah, right there. I'm on iOS 10.3.2. So, that being said, that's the latest out right now. I know iOS 11's beta form, just like Android 8 is beta form. I mean, anybody that wants to sign up can sign up and participate in the betas. This is why I try to, to this is why I try to tell people that that's like my family and friends, like, if you want to know what's the latest and greatest out there, then you have to try it for yourself. Meaning, you have to get these certain devices that would allow you to get that. Now, I know like Sony, who was it? Sony, I think LG and Samsung got their own betas. I think HTC does too, and Motorola, I think they do. I'm not sure Motorola, I have to double check that, but Apple and Google for sure has their own beta programs where you can test out the operating systems and software before everyone else gets it in the fall or winter or whenever it drops. So for those of you that want to try the latest and greatest, then that's what you have to do. You have to get a Google device or an Apple device that says made by Google, made by Apple or something like that. Now, like I said, Sony sometimes have it. I think LG and Samsung does too, but it's not worldwide. It's not out for everyone that has that certain device. You have to be in a particular region. But at the same time, um, the camera. I'm gonna talk about the camera. The camera is good. I have the, the camera is good on the iPhone SE. Um, you check out my videos about the camera and video footage. Video footage is great. Um, I'm I, I've been trying to do videos with this phone, but for some reason it's not uploading to YouTube. I don't know if it's the storage or the type of I don't know. I don't know. So it's, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of mixed bags uh, right now with the iPhone SE. And like I said, maybe it's it's doing something with the Verizon network or Total Wireless um, service. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I have, like I said, I have mixed bags with the iPhone SE. I mean, like I said, I'm still using it for calls and texts. Um, and then, if, like I said, I told you guys, um, apps work offline. So you don't really need data for apps. You just need data for streaming. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm, I'm in my pocket. I'm in my pocket application right now. Um... And yeah, so, you know, I can check out articles that I downloaded or share it to, to the app and it's zinked up and it updated. So whatever I want to talk about, I mean, whatever I want to check out, I can check it out. And without the worry about um, data, because it's still calls and texts. And, and like I said, for people that are not data hungry and want the cheapest and you know, greatest plan that they can possibly live off of without breaking a bank. Your, your choices are between Project Fi, Total Wireless, I mean, not Total Wireless, Project Fi, TextNow, Freedom Pop. I mean, these, and, and maybe Mint. I might try Mint. Maybe Mint. And, and Track Phone. Track Phone, if you want to be super cheap and just pay up front for your whole year, then that, that, can, that can do you service and and get an application like text now for unlimited talking text or Google Voice, uh, Hangouts, Skype, um, those type of applications um, that you want to try out. Like I said, I got Hangouts, Google Voice. Um, also, I got Skype for calls and text unlimited, even Facebook Messenger. And you can just link up your number to Facebook Messenger and everyone can communicate through there. So it's a lot of options you have with smartphones. It's a lot of options. You just have to choose the one you want. Unfortunately, this iPhone SE isn't unlocked, meaning I'm stuck with Total Wireless. So that is the downside for you all 
that were tempted to get the iPhone SE for $135 with the promo. Yes, there is a lot of downsides to this. Um, once again, you have choices out here, people. You have to pick the ones that's right for you, that's best for you. And shouts to the Gatorade bottle on deck. Um, I can't say I had a good experience with Total Wireless. Like I said, the setup was, it took forever. I, and then my boy Santana, shout out to Santana. Once again, he probably told me it's because I, I used, I signed up using my ID instead of a brand new iPhone. But it is what it is. Um, this is what the YouTube, this is what uh, the internet is for. This is what YouTube is for. So put out your opinion, let people know what products and services are great and good and where a bad about them, what you don't like about them. This is what's good about communication, about the YouTube community. Um, if you guys like this video, if you like the iPhone SE, if you like iPhones, period, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I will give you more coverage coming soon, more reviews, more unboxings, and more tips and tricks to how to save money, how to get money, um, how to get limited free data, and all that stuff like that. So we got more videos coming.